Hello everybody, welcome to what will probably be the final part of Let's Play Silent Hill 4 The Room. Last time we finally got outside the apartment and we got the tools we need to um, defeat Walter, I hope. Because like they said, we need the umbilical cord and then implant eight spears in him and then he will become mortal or whatever. So yeah, they kind of map it out for me, so... I know I'm not going to need these. I will need that, obviously. I don't think I'll need that. Um, I will leave the pistol behind. Revolver. I'm going to assume this might make my life easier. Um, see, I like the rusty axe, but... If I hope to save Eileen, I might want to use the pickaxe to defeat him and this I just found out what this actually does and I'm kind of upset about it but uh the shabby doll this is something you actually don't want to have because well you don't want to have it in your uh item box because that increases the number of hauntings that happens in your apartment um but I think I did a good enough job of not dealing or dealing with those so let me see i'm gonna yeah i'll take two ampoules with me <laughs> why not wow, i actually did good on health items uh, surprisingly uh i don't think i'll need any more of these so let's see i'm at four item slots now uh yeah we'll take the pickaxe of despair i'll try to make it work so that's five this would be six and seven. I might be able to make something work with that. I might be able to make something work with that. And then, yeah, because then if I do the uh, umbilical cord, that'll mean I have four item slots left available. And then... That means I just have to make two trips with the uh, spears if there's eight of them. So four and four. Eight would probably be, like, grabbing all eight at once would probably be the best case scenario. But that means I would, well, I mean, I probably could make that work with the pickaxe. One ampoule and the umbilical cord. But I'm going into this boss fight with no clue what to do. So I'll probably stick with this. Let's give it a shot. Let's go for the best ending. Why not? Wow, this room looks just a lot creepier. So, yeah, this is where Eileen went. Depression. Wait a minute. This is no normal depression. When I stare into it, I feel like I could be sucked in. It's like it's connected to some other dimension. Or maybe it's like a hole that once you enter, you can never leave. No, because it would probably be in my best interest to, you know, equip something. Equip some. Okay, fine, whatever. No, no, go into the hole, Henry. <laughs> okay. I'm anxious, I'm anxious. Because I don't think I did a good enough job of keeping Eileen healthy, because I also learned something else, where, um... Like, if you leave her alone for extended periods of time, while she may not take physical damage, she takes, like, sort of mental damage, if that makes any sense. Like, those points where I'm walking with her and she starts acting like she's possessed, or starts quoting scripture... Yeah, so that also has an effect. So it's like you almost have to always have her with you and not have her get attacked by too many things. I don't think I did a good enough job on that regard. Also, I hope I got rid of enough hauntings in my apartment. Because you have four different endings based on... Let me pause here. Uh, based on the number of hauntings you 
um, stop in your apartment. And like if Eileen survives. So if Eileen survives and you've got, you know, like all of the hauntings taken care of in your apartment, you'll get the best ending. Um, all hauntings, but Eileen dies, you get one ending. Um, Eileen lives, but you didn't do too well on the hauntings, you get another ending. If you did horrible on the hauntings and Eileen dies, you get the worst ending. So, all right, let's do this. Where you at, Walter? Cronkite? Sullivan? I sees nothing. Wasn't that the hole I just came from? Also, people are very loud outside. That's just so rude and inconsiderate. I'm making art here. No, I'm not. I'm just playing a video game for the internet. Okay, fine. Enter the hole. If this takes me back to the apartment, I swear to God, I'm going to be a little upset. But we're going deeper. Right? Oh, yeah, we're going deeper. Okay. <laughs> and there he is. Okay. Come oh, on, you Keanu Reeves looking. Wait. What am I going to be attacking? Is that supposed to be Walter over there? And there's Eileen. Okay. Hey there, little Walter. Just a little longer now. Alright. The last of the twenty one seconds. The final sign. Okay. <laughs> you can't use that here. Okay, well, Eileen, I have until she gets to the end of the thing. So wait, do I attack you then? Oh, I should have been picking up some spears as I was going over here. Are these spears that were on, like... Okay, the Crimson Tome says I have to stick eight of these spears into Walter's body. Okay, that's one. Eileen looks like she's walking pretty fast. It's two. It's three. Four. Wow, um... Okay, he's down. Yeah, Eileen is walking real quick. I'm probably going to get a not-so-good ending. Oh well, I hope I got rid of enough hauntings. Okay. Come on. Ah, crap, I got shot. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would do. Like, you know, getting shot. Whatever. Okay. Stop teleporting. Okay. More spears. Just jam them. 
Come on. Oh no. Okay. Where the hell do I shoot? Okay, well, I just got wrecked. I, I, I have... I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, that was super effective. <laughs> I'm really good at my job here. Please stop. Okay. I probably should have brought the axe. <laughs> this is not working out in my favor. As long as he keeps doing, like, those big swings with his pipe, should be fine. That was not a double entendre. He is swinging a pipe at me. Yeah, I'm not good at the sidestepping. <laughs> Please stop. Are you dead? Wow. Wow. Okay, I feel like I'm doing something very wrong here. Okay, yeah, this is not working out. Yeah, just take a bullet to the face, Henry. Kill? Please die? No. <laughs> if I if I get a game over here, I am coming back with the axe. I probably still won't be quick enough to def uh, beat him before Eileen dies, but hey, every little bit helps, I guess. Oh, that sounds like death. Or not? Oh, okay. Wow, if it took that many hits with the pickaxe, and that's supposed to be the strongest weapon. I mean, granted, I didn't beat him all that quickly. But still. Wow, did I really screw up that bad with Eileen? I mean, yeah, I kind of did. I kind of did. Because I didn't know that was a gameplay mechanic. Where did she take the most damage at for me, though? Might actually have been Subway World. Because, I mean, at the very least in... Hmm. Because, like, the very least with Water Prison World, I left her at a spot where she couldn't get hurt. For the most part. Dang. Well, if I ever do another, like, just playthrough of this on my own, I probably would be able to save her. You acting real casual about that, young Walt. Wait, so killing adult Walt killed little Walt? Or was that like a memory of him? I'm still confused as to how there were two of them, unless like that was just us and his psyche. And now the news. Yesterday in Asheville and the woods near Silent Hill, 
the bodies of five men and oh okay that covered. took me off guard the police reported that all the murders appear to be the work of the same perpetrator hmm. they are continuing their investigation four of the victims were found dead at the scene and the fifth victim a uh, miss eileen galvin was transported to saint jerome's hospital where she died a short time later police say that Miss Galvin's injury. Wait, she lived? Exactly oh. Those of the other victims. I mean. Damn. Okay, and that was a awkward. I I don't. Ugh. Um, I might mute this because of music. Silent Hill has a tendency of using like licensed music, especially you know since Akira Yamoka was still the sound director for this, so yeah, this probably will get caught or something, but I don't know how to feel about that ending. That wasn't the worst ending. I, I had the ending spoiled for me, like not completely spoiled, like what happens, just what the endings are known as, and in like the worst ending, like it's essentially just called, you know, the 21 Sacraments. I mean, well, I mean, well, it's not essentially called that. It is called that. And that can only mean that both you and Eileen die because that means Walter would have completed what he had to do. Because we saw there, that did not happen. I, ugh. I would have rather that happened instead of that ending. Just him just up there like Eileen Ugh. and that that's it I'm actually disappointed uh, but I don't, I don't know I mean that uh, I mean, but I guess has to be expected I mean the bad endings of Silent Hill games tend to be unfulfilling although they make all the sense in the world because to be fair he did have an unhealthy uh, fascination with Eileen throughout the game. Well, like before she became the 20th victim. You know, like him looking through the hole in the wall, you know, talking about her every now and then. So, yeah. Like, it can only... Like, it only makes sense that, you know, him finding out that she didn't survive. Like, he becomes overcome with sadness. He was almost like a little stalker of hers, but I would have expected, like, a little more from that. Like, you know, oh, okay, well, hey, Pyrrhic victory, you know, Eileen died, but, you know, you can finally leave your apartment normally. You know, you're not in the other world anymore, but, eh, whatever, whatever. I mean, that would be like me looking at the in-water ending from Silent Hill 2 and just being like, well, why couldn't more have happened? I mean, that ending makes sense. Do killed his wife and then committed suicide. It's eh, whatever. But all in all, I, I like this game. I don't see why a lot of people hate it. Well, no, hate is a strong term. Like a lot of people just dislike it or don't feel it's on par with the first three Silent Hills. But I disagree. I think it's really good, even though this actually didn't start off as a Silent Hill game. It was going to be its own thing. Okay, yeah, so many freaking resolution changes. Whatever, this is just going to be all out of sync, but thankfully, like, no audio needs to be synced up. Yep, ending Eileen's death, but I found all the memos. Okay, six continues. I, I did good on continues. Saves, not so much. <laughs> Definitely not time could have been a lot better um so yeah is that one two three one two three eight Wait, so is my rank five out of a possible eight stars i don't know o okay um could have been better but definitely could have been worse though I'm actually shocked I did decent on continues. I mean, perfect world, I would have, you know, gotten zero continues. But yeah, I don't get the necessary dis... Not necessary, but just the general dislike for this game. Though I have seen, like, some people that do really enjoy this game, you know. But 
I don't know, each Silent Hill, to me, brings something different to the table that I really enjoy. Like, I love the story of Silent Hill 2 and the characters. Uh, I love the puzzles of Silent Hill 3. And I love the atmosphere and gameplay of this game, although the um, escort aspect of it, not so much. Or at least it could have been handled better? I mean, I, I get why it's there, you know, for the ending and, you know, with the important role that Eileen plays in the story, but yeah, I'm just not that big a fan of escort things in video games in the first place. Like one of the only, one of the few games, at least, that I think pulls it off well is Bioshock Infinite. And that's because uh, Elizabeth is never in any real trouble and she gives you a lot of things to help you out. So, yeah. But all in all, I really enjoyed this game. Like I said, disappointed with the ending, but hey, that means I did well enough on the haunting. So, um, as always, well, I say as always, I, don't, I, I didn't do this for Silent Hill 2. I just had like a little caption or captions talking about the different endings and other little secrets. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and look up the secrets and do some post commentary to the on this video to say some of the things I missed. I know I missed a few weapons because apparently with that wine bottle, you can actually break that and use the broken wine bottle as a weapon. Apparently there was also a stun gun in this game as well. And unlike the stun gun from previous game, uh, you don't need batteries for it. That probably would have been pretty nice. But, ooh, I, I hope one of my, I, I hope one of my saves is right before we start going back to the return of the, those, like, worlds. Like, before the return of Subway World or something, because I want to see if I could possibly beat him without Eileen taking too much damage. But yeah, it seemed like she was walking real fast, so... Like, even if I did know what I was doing, I probably wouldn't have stood that much of a chance. Because how many times I managed to hit him with the pickaxe before she did that walk into the pool? See, I don't even know. I don't even know. But alright, um, I'm, I'm done rambling here. All in all, I really did enjoy this game. The escort aspect of it was kind of eh. But everything else I, I really did like. I, I love the Silent Hill series. For a series that I didn't even get like involved with until my PS3. I, I grew up as a Resident Evil kid, but I can never beat any. And like, I don't know, early Resident Evils just didn't do it for me. I hate the fact that saving in the old Resident Evils is restricted to a consumable. So you could like end up screwing yourself tremendously in those games, like to a point where they would be near impossible to beat if you didn't know what you were doing. But yeah, I, I really do enjoy the Silent Hill series. I don't know if I'll play any more on the channel. Like I might just go to them on my own time to, you know, see how they are, but no, I'll never say never. Cause I also said I would never play past the original Spiral trilogy and Ended up doing Enter the Dragonfly and The Hero's Tale, and I regret that decision. No, I don't. It, they were... Well, no, they, they, they weren't alright games. But they were alright experiences that we all shared as we witnessed the death of a beloved Sony mascot. Um, but yeah, like, one that I'm really interested in, was it so Homecoming? No, no, Homecoming was the retelling of one, I believe. I think it was Shattered Memories or something. Like, there was one that was for the Wii that was like, um, why, why are we back here? Oh, a brand new fear. So this is like New Game Plus. I'm going to assume as much. Uh, but yeah, I think it was Shattered Memories or something that was like a Wii game, a Wii Silent Hill. And like the gimmick with that was that they, um, like, would ask you questions every now and then, like, psychological questions. Yeah, this is, like, New Game Plus, okay. And, um, like, based on how you answered those questions, it would shape different things that would happen in the game. 
And I heard like while people applauded what that game tried to do, it didn't turn out that great. Huh? Here's a go. Henry Thomas moving to room 302. Oh, okay. This was so long ago. I forgot all about this. Okay. Um, but yeah, I heard like people did enjoy that concept, but the execution was kind of uh, probably because it was a Wii game and the Wii wasn't all that powerful. So they probably couldn't do what they really wanted to do. Yo, this apartment's looking kind of messed up. Okay, I might have to look up what changes in a uh, brand new fear, cause... What the hell? <laughs> what the f <laughs> What? Okay, um... <laughs> What's that scream? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? Abrupt post commentary time. Uh, yeah, for some reason, the last like five or so minutes of footage just didn't even get recorded. Um, possibly has something to do with a special cutscene that started up. Cause you know, like I said for the longest portion of this LP, when some cutscenes would start up, the resolution on my TV would change up a bit and like some weird recording errors would pop up in the actual footage. So yeah, this was no different. Anyway, you didn't really miss too much. Just me coming to the slow realization that that point a few minutes ago where I was an absolute craven coward was the same exact opening from the beginning of the game. Um, it was just the fact that it was so long ago, in addition to me becoming accustomed to how the apartment looked throughout the normal parts of the game that I just completely forgot about it and it took me off guard in a pretty deep way. But enough about that, on to the other little extras about this game. As mentioned before, there are four distinct endings. The best ending of the game, the escape ending, happens when you save Eileen during the final battle meaning you defeat Walter before she dies, and you clear out most, if not all, of the hauntings in your apartment. In this ending, the authorities close in on this weird part of Silent Hill and recover all the bodies there. Henry is perfectly fine, and Eileen is taken to the hospital where her wounds are treated. Henry visits her in the hospital, gives her a bouquet of flowers, and Eileen jokingly says to him, guess I'll have to find a new place to live, huh? Implying that they end up together. And all's well that ends well. Aww. The next ending, the mother ending, is if you save Eileen in the final battle, but you don't do so well with the hauntings in your apartment. This ending is essentially the same as the escape ending, only instead of implying that she wants to move in with Henry, Eileen says, well, I guess I can go back to South Ashfield Heights now. And then Henry returns to his apartment, which looks like how it did at the beginning of the game, where it's covered in blood and rust. So yeah, he's kind of screwed over, but Eileen's fine. That's all that matters. Then there's the Eileen's death ending, which we just saw and which I feel was really unfulfilling. But that's what happens when you do really well with the hauntings, but you let Eileen die. And finally, there's the 21 Sacraments ending, the worst ending, which happens if you let Eileen die and you don't really do much about the hauntings in your apartment. In this ending, we see Walter die. However, Henry starts acting like he's been possessed. Sort of like how Eileen was slowly being possessed by Walter during some stages of the game. And then you cut to little Walter outside the apartment and he actually manages to get in. Only it looks like how it did at the beginning of the game with blood and rust everywhere. Gets up on a couch, says something along the lines of, I'm home, I won't let anyone get in the way. I'm gonna stay with you forever because you know, he thinks the room is his mom apparently. And you hear a radio announcement saying that the bodies of 
Eileen and Henry have been found dead among all the other sacrifices. And you see Walter Sullivan as if he's still alive, or maybe it's his ghost or something. Honestly, I would have preferred that ending. Moving on from the endings, we have different items and weapons. Some of which are not actually extras, just things I didn't really find or utilize. For example, using the wine bottle and then breaking it would have given me the broken wine bottle as a weapon. And there was even bug spray located in certain parts of the game, which would have made dealing with those bats a lot easier, even though bats really aren't bugs, but I think that's what the bug spray would have been useful for. I don't really know much else it would have affected. Maybe the slugs? I don't know. There was also a spade that I could have got in Building World, and apparently it rivals the power of the Rusty Axe, if not exceeds it, and it has a longer range. As mentioned, there was also the stun gun, and I believe there was even a steel pipe in Henry's apartment, which I think I did get. Honestly, I don't even remember the steel pipe. If I did get it. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But aside from those, there are extra weapons. However, there's only two of them in this game. One for Henry and one for Eileen. First, there's the chainsaw for Henry, which is unlocked after beating the game once and starting a new game on Brand New Fear. You find it in Forest World. And the unlockable weapon for Eileen is a submachine gun. Yeah, Eileen can rock an Uzi. To unlock this, you have to get a ranking of 9 stars or higher on any playthrough of the game. Once unlocked, you can find it in room 101 on the first floor of Apartment World, in a brand new fear. And while this is an amazing weapon in the sense that it's a semi-automatic gun, and it even has infinite ammo, the recoil actually does damage to Eileen. So if you end up having her use it a lot, you might find yourself getting a pretty bad ending at the end of the game. After that, making a return from Silent Hill 3, we have costumes. However, there are only two of them, and none of them are for Henry. The first special costume is a nurse outfit for Eileen. To get this costume, you have to get one of the endings where Eileen lives, either the escape ending or the mother ending, and then on your next brand new fear playthrough, you have to find the costume in Eileen's apartment and keep it in your inventory and beat the game and get another ending where Eileen lives, either the escape ending or the mother ending. And then when you start another new brand new fear file, you'll be prompted which costume you want Eileen to wear. And you can select the nurse outfit, which she'll only have on when, you know, the escort mission starts up. One added bonus of Eileen's nurse costume is that she gets added jiggle physics. Yeah. You can even bump into her and see them in action. It's kind of ridiculous. The second hidden costume is a sexy costume for Cynthia. And don't worry, her ghost doesn't wear it. To unlock this costume, first you have to have achieved all four endings on one file. So yeah, you gotta beat the game at least four times. And you need to have unlocked Eileen's nurse uniform. And then once you start a new game, you'll be given the option of choosing what outfit you want Eileen to wear. If you choose the nurse outfit for her, that automatically defaults Cynthia to the sexy outfit when you meet her. And the same jiggle physics that apply to Eileen's new costume also applies to Cynthia's new costume. Oh boy. After that, we got some special modes you can unlock. If you get a 10 star ranking, you unlock one weapon mode. This is self-explanatory in a sense that you get one weapon to beat the game with. When you activate this mode after the escalator ride into Subway World, 
you see every weapon in the game laid out in front of you. Except for the pistol, torch, and the golf clubs, because those are kind of tied to special events in some cases. Not so much the golf clubs, but they're perishable items. Also, the Eileen weapons don't show up either. You choose one weapon laid out in front of you that you want to take, and the rest disappear. So you gotta make your choice count. The next special mode you can unlock is All Weapons Mode. You unlock this by getting a 10 star ranking in One Weapon Mode. In this mode, you can take every single weapon in the game at the beginning of the game and use them whenever you want, except for those special weapons I mentioned in the One Weapon Mode part. And in addition to that, every time you go back to your apartment, you'll find 10 health drinks in the fridge and six clips of pistol bullets in the laundry room. So yeah, this is essentially a mode easier than easy mode, but it takes a ridiculous amount of effort to unlock. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the extras and the secrets. Though there is one more that, from what I can tell, hasn't really been confirmed by too many people. Either that or it depends on what version of the game you're playing. I.e. if you're playing the Japanese version, uh, US version, or the PAL version. But yeah, the deal with Eileen is that whatever damage she takes will be permanent and you can't heal her. So if you're a bad player, you're more than likely going to get the bad endings. But apparently there is a trick where you can heal Eileen with holy candles. So yeah, the trick to this is to find areas in the outside room 302 section. You know, you get the keys of liberation and you're exploring apartment world for the second time. Yeah, you just gotta find spots where you can set candles as Eileen is following you and just light them as she's nearby and they'll heal her, apparently. Like I said, this seems to be a point of contention among like a lot of places that I looked up all the secrets to this game and some people can't determine if the holy candle trick actually did heal her or if their own actual play style maybe differed from before and they were actually able to save her during the final fight so yeah that might be something worth checking out but with that said that's it for Silent Hill 4 Hope you all enjoyed this LP, and I will see you next time with something new. Goodbye.